The climbers have spent a week preparing and are ready to roll. But for one, the challenge is unique. Mark Ingalls has a handicap that would stop most people from climbing a flight of stairs. Nevertheless, he intends to be the first man to summit Everest without legs. He's losing his voice in the thin air, but his new carbon fiber legs are working well. I'll whip them off, dry the stumps off. Huge advantage to be able to do this partway through the day. Huge advantage. And it's working pretty damn well. Over, Mark. Before yeah. leaving base camp, Mark has some unfinished business. Very nice to see you. See you again. On a previous training hard. climb in the Himalayas, Mark Come met on. Tile. Tile and I are about the same age. Uh, we lost our legs in the same way. We both lost them through, through frostbite uh, 20 odd years ago. 24 years ago, Mark was trapped on the summit of the highest mountain in New Zealand in the worst storm of the decade. We sat there for 13 and a half days in total, and we lost 40% of our body weight. The other thing that happened, of course, was frostbite started to set in. Mark's legs were frozen solid and had to be amputated. The difference is, is that he's been walking around on his knees for 20 years. As his old friend smiles in disbelief, <laughs> Mark fits him up with a second chance. This is our one strong man. If anyone can do it, yeah, I think it's uh, Tile here can do it. very tall man. He's coming around pretty quick, huh? Yeah, he's going very well. <laughs> Stand up straight. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's great. Whoa! -ho! And look at the smile on his face. It's worth a million bucks. <laughs> 